Hey everybody, what's going on out there today? It's Grandpa Cutting. Hey, I got another review for y'all today for you truck guys that drive trucks and gals that likes trucks. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting a little older and I can't hardly get up in the back of the truck no more, especially if the tailgate's down. So, you know, they make all kind of little inventions for you to get in and out of the truck. But I found this here at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight Tools has got these now. There's something new that's on the menu at Harbor Freight. Let me show it to you. Y'all see that right there? That is a Hallmaster truck bed tailgate ladder holds up to 300 pounds. There it is right there. You see similar products like these right here uh, online up to about $100, $150. Uh, this is $35 with a coupon, Harbor Freight Tools. So we're going to put this thing on the truck. We're going to put it together. We're going to check it out and see how it works. And hey. We'll give you a review. So let's dig into it. Let's open it up, see what kind of tools we got to have. And don't tell you what kind of tools we got to have to uh, to put it together. Uh, this product is made in Vietnam. So you're getting this in, from, Bet, you know, it's coming out of Vietnam. So so they made it. And I have found out if you buy clothes, which, you know, everything's made overseas nowadays. But if you buy clothes that's made in Vietnam, it's like the wicker clothes. They hold up a lot better now, a lot better, a lot better clothes than what's made in China. So let's see if we can get this bad boy open. Come open any other kind of way than this. Nope. Guess that's it. So let's dump it out the box if it'll come out of here. It may or may not come out of here. Let's see. Hold that micro. Do we push it out? There we go. This is actually a pretty, pretty, pretty good looking uh, truck ladder here. Uh, that it? So that's everything. That's it right there. Hall master truck bed ladder. So we got a few things here. We got the ladder. We got a little box here. Let's open this little box up here and see what's in the ladder. Ladder's uh, it's got uh, what you call it, like sandpaper on it to keep it from sliding, slipping and sliding. Let's open this here up. We'll see what's in there. These Alabama gnats and mosquitoes don't tote me off. Let's see here what we got. Got some instructions. Got a steel plate here. We got some quick release. We got another little bracket. We got another little bracket. We got straps. And we have got screws. Looks like we got long screws and short screws. So, all right. Well, let me see what we got to have here to put this thing together, which looks like we're going to need a Phillips head uh, screwdriver bit and a drill. And maybe an Allen head wrench. And possibly, uh, possibly a drill bit. So I'll be back with y'all in just a second. Let me get some tools up and get them ready and we'll install this bad boy. All right, everybody. I had to do some pre drilling. This old ram tailgate's pretty tough. So technically, you need one of these things right here. Not that. <laughs> you need one of these multi, multi drill heads. Or if you got some good drill bits, if you ain't got just bits, it's that, that color gold, don't ever buy them, they're terrible. So on this ram tailgate here, I had to use, uh, I'm having to use a little bit longer screws uh, instead of the short ones. I mean, I got these ram trucks, they got a big old wide, I mean the tailgate's real wide, so... I mean, you ain't going to hurt nothing by using them. So, even in the size. So, I don't see the need to put, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I don't see no need to put 15 screws in this ladder. I mean, I, I don't weigh that much. So, I don't see having to put that many in here. So, I mean... I'm just going to put three on each side. I mean, I'm going to put one in the middle. I, I drilled a hole for one in the middle. But I, I don't see how to put that many screws in here. You need to be careful, though, and be sure you don't get into none of your electronics on your uh, automatic lock and all on these things. But that's basically all I'm putting in there. So we're going to get the rest of this thing here and put it together. So we're going to need these arms right here. Uh, these arms right here, we're going with the, with the tit rubber down, just like that right there. 
I see a lot of people on there putting them like this where they hit your truck. That, that's not the way they go. They don't go that way. So they technically go the way I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you why. So you got these little pins here. So these little pins, they basically go in here like this. And I see a lot of people putting them in a different spot, but they, they go in there like that right there. So that if you want to haul anything in your truck, all you got to do is pull the pin out and your ladder's out of the way. And all you got is this plate. Well, this place is close in line to this side here, so it's not really going to make any difference uh, on your tailgate. But make sure you're, you're in line that you're, that you're not in there so far. So I'm going to just leave that pin in there for now. We'll put this pin here in here. And we will take this bad boy and we will put it together. So let's see here. Let me back y'all up a little bit. So we got the camera backed up a little bit out of the way. So we're going to cut these straps off of here. These little zip ties. I can get that one there. So really this ladder is self-explanatory. And like I said, it is a cheaper version because it's coming from Harbor Freight. Look, look at that little ladder. That's snazzy looking little ladder. Got little uh, non-slip stuff on the top of it. So... We're going to take this thing, so you know it's going to kind of go like this, right? You know, your ladder. So, we got to come in here, and we got to put your screws in. We got a short piece here. We put the screws in this one like this here. So, these little screws here, they got an Allen head on them. So, all we that basically do with them is just put them in, just like you would anything else. This is really a neat little ladder. Uh, I'm hoping I'm tickled to death that it's going to work work out good. Uh, if I can hit the hole here. There you go. So, we're just sticking her together. We're going to tighten it up here in a minute. But, uh, you know, if you have trouble getting in and out of your truck, you're getting a little older, you can't get around it good, or you're short. You know, I'm a tall fella, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting in and out of the truck, but I do. I mean... When you get older, you tend to slow down. You don't want to jump out of stuff because you're scared you're going to hurt yourself. or You know, and you will. You'll fall and break a bone. I mean, I got a lot of rods and pins. So we're going to flip this one over like this for now. And, and we'll go ahead and tighten it up. Let's see. Let me find my wrenches here. We'll go ahead and torque this little joker down a little bit. That ain't the right one, is it? I got to find the right tools, y'all. There they go, right there. Hey y'all, I appreciate y'all watching old videos. Uh, y'all can follow me on Facebook or TikTok. You can follow me on any of those. Instagram. These have got self-locking nuts on them, Teflon nuts. So, you ain't got to tighten them up real tight. Of course, I done messed that up. Just snug them down a little bit till you see the nut come out of them. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to put this ladder on. And the ladder basically slides down these pipes like so. And then we're going to adjust it. And I'll get you all over here in just a second. We're going to adjust it for the height of the truck. If I can get it right here. There it goes right there. So we're going to get this thing down here. Got it a little too tight, y'all. I gotta loosen up a little bit. That's why I was talking about don't get it too tight or it won't it won't do what it's supposed to do. There it is. Alright, I'll get y'all over here where you can see the ladder and I'll show y'all how to do the rest of it. Alright, so what we're doing, we're lining this ladder up about where we want it to be there. So it can be a little straight like right there. Looks good to me. What about y'all? That look good to y'all. So it's got multiple holes in it. So this, this truck I got, it's kind of tall. So if I can get it going in the hole there. You know how them machine holes is. So you get it in the hole, it best fits your truck. So you know if you got it out here like this a little bit, it's got a little, a little tilt to it, then that's good because... If you're on a little bit higher ground, I mean, you could you could technically go out another notch. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's go out another notch because you never know. You could be on the side of the road somewhere and, with your camper and want to get up in your truck 
and the ground may be a little bit uneven. I mean, it don't hurt to have it a little bit longer. And then it ain't so high to get up. But like I say, it got multiple adjustments on it. And uh, we'll look here. Like I say, this comes from tractor supply. I mean, not tractor supply, Harbor Freight. So let's see what it says here. It'll go from 35 and 3 eighths to 43 and 3 eighths. So you got a one foot of adjustment there on your on your truck's height. So that's a good thing, y'all. I mean, that's because I'm kind of on a hill out here right now. I am. So. You want to make sure, well, you want to look at it up there and make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. You look at your cams up there on it, make sure they're about where they're supposed to be at. So, basically, we have got this thing whipped just that quick, that easy. Like I say, you put all the screws in it you want to put in it. That is totally up to you. Uh, I think what I'm going to do to make this thing a little bit better, uh, is I'm going to get me a couple more of these little quick clips here and uh, get me some more of these quick clips and put down here in case I do ever want to do it a little more. But you just grab onto the truck. It's good and steady. You go right in and out the truck like this. You can come down it frontwards like this if you want to. I mean, hey, I like that thing. What do y'all think, huh? What do y'all think about that? That's, that's pretty neat. Let me get you over here a minute right here. I mean... That's a pretty cool little step. I mean, I'm, I'm 245 pounds, so, I mean, man, that's a heck of a lot easier, a heck of a lot easier than having to climb in that truck. I usually keep my bucket in the truck. <laughs> There's my bucket sitting over there beside the truck. It's a mental bucket combination uh, bucket to get in and out the truck, but let's see how it folds up here. So, in theory, it comes up, comes over. And lays down on your tailgate. Now, it's got straps and buckles here that holds it closed, it holds it down. So, I've got a cap on my truck, but the cap sits up on top of this. So, if you got a cap, make sure it's down. If a camper, make sure it's down far enough. But if you want to haul something, you know, if you want to haul uh, your ice chest or whatever in the back of your truck, you don't need this ladder. Well, you just simply pull these pins, take it off out the way. Hey, we'll do that real quick. Pull the pins. Pull this thing over. Put it in the truck. Put it in your garage. You got your whole bed and these two little pegs right here. They are not in the way of nothing. They are. They're not in the way of anything that you're going to load in and out the truck. Because of, between the wheel wells is four foot. So a four foot sheet of plywood, you won't have you don't have won't have any issues putting anything in and out the truck. If you need your ladder back on there, you just simply put your ladder in. Now we go on trips a lot of time with a camper uh, and the boats. So sometimes you need to get a few things in and out your truck. You know, and you have to get up and down in your truck and all that. So uh, so yeah. That's all right. I like that, y'all. That is a pretty neat little operation. That's pretty cool, ain't it? So, tractor supply. Not, I keep saying tractor supply. What's wrong with me? Harbor Freight. So, this is it. Hall master truck bed tractor ladder. Trailer. Tailgate ladder. 300-pound uh, capacity from Harbor Freight, I finally remembered. So, if you go on Harbor Freight and you're looking for these, you go back there where the trailer hitches and all that that goes on your truck trailer hitches, your boat trailer lights and all where they're hanging on the wall, and this is where you'll find this thing at. So it's a new product from Harbor Freight, and to me, it's worth every bit of $35. I mean, you can't even buy a McDonald's hamburger, French fry, and a Coke for under $35. So y'all go get you one. Remember, you got this from Grandpa Cotton. I am gone.